Here's a review of the disappointing Noise Buds VS202. Let's find out why they haven't lived up to their hype. Hi guys, I'm Mariam and on this channel you'll find reviews of daily tech products every week. Let's get on with this one. The charging case here is broad at the top and narrow towards the bottom and it feels quite chunky in the hands. It has a matte plastic finish on the front and back and a glossy plastic finish on the sides. The lid of the case isn't sturdy to be honest. It's quite flimsy and I don't feel like it's gonna last for too long. There's noise branding in the front with an LED indicator at the bottom. There's a Type-C charging port at the bottom of the case and more noise branding at the back. The earbuds have an half in ear design. I personally prefer the half in ear design as it provides a more comfortable fit at least for me. However, these did loosen up in my off-camera run test, so I won't recommend using these for workouts. Like the charging case, the earbuds also have both the matte and glossy plastic finish. The touch capacitive stem here has the noise branding and an LED indicator. And these are IPX4 rated. Although the noise website claims that these are just IPX rated, so there's that. But in my assumption, these will survive splashes of water. And you have four color options available to you. You have black, white, blue, and green. The VS202 has Bluetooth 5.3, which makes pairing this with your phone lightning fast. Noise has in fact termed this as hypersync technology, which basically means that you can connect the VS202 with your phone by just opening the lid of the case, which is quite handy and it does work as advertised. Also, the VS202 has a Bluetooth range of 10 meters and the connection remains stable. I haven't had any connectivity drops even after moving away from the device that these were connected to. So on the connectivity front, I would say the VS202 have been reliable so far. The VS202 have 13 millimeter audio drivers and these come equipped with true bass technology which offers to promise you very deep bass and I have to say that the bass levels on these earbuds have been quite good. And these earbuds do get loud on very high volume and the sound doesn't get distorted at those extremely high volumes. But there is a considerable amount of audio leaking, which I guess just plagues all of these budget earbuds at this point. The earbuds also provide a low latency mode for all the gabers out there. There's also a dedicated individual mic in each earbud to ensure that your callers can hear you very clearly. I have been told that my voice sounded low on these earbuds. And you do get a full suite of touch functions with the VS202. I'll leave a screen grab of the touch functions right here. Well, now on to the juiciest bit of our review. So let me start by just laying out all the fancy terms used by noise here. Insta charge provides two hours of playback time with just 10 minutes of charge. The battery backup of the earbuds is up to six hours on a single charge. And backed with the charging case, noise claims that these earbuds can provide 24 hours of playback time. The asterisk here is of course that the audio needs to be played at 70% volume. In my initial testing, the VS202 have given me decent battery life. I would get a day's worth of battery life with light to moderate use, which included hour-long podcast sessions and YouTube binge watch sessions. So the battery life of these earbuds, I would say just falls in the expected camp. After having gone through the overall impression of the VS202, it's now time to highlight some of the cons of these earbuds. Firstly, I had a rather underwhelming unboxing experience. The product for some reason looked like it was used and the USB cable here had some marks on it, which made me think that I bought a refurbished product. Having bought other products from Noise in the past, I was surprised to see how poorly this product was packaged. And secondly, I did face an issue with my unit. The right earbud has stopped working completely since the last couple of days. Lately, I found that the right earbud keeps giving me the low battery prompt even after charging the case completely and charging the earbuds completely overnight. And this problem has occurred after owning these earbuds for merely three weeks. The noise website claims that you need to charge these earbuds completely and then do a reset to solve this problem. I did follow the steps recommended by them, but the right earbud just refuses to come back to life. I'll be sending this back to noise to get it sorted out, but who knows how long that'll take. 
and the third problem is the inconsistent pricing of these earbuds on the noise website and on flipkart so the price of the vs202 is 1200 rupees on the noise website and it just shows that this unit has been sold out all the time and the price of these earbuds on Flipkart is 1,600 rupees, which to me is excessive for these earbuds. The difference of 400 rupees means that you need to slot these earbuds in a totally different category and it shines in none. So long story short, I do not recommend buying the Noise Buds VS202. I would have changed my stance if I was alone in facing this issue with my unit. But there are several other customers who have also received faulty units and are unhappy with their purchase. For the price range between 1200 rupees and 1600 rupees, you could consider the Boat Airdopes 181, which offer good sound quality. Or if you want to check out a good neckband, then do consider the Noise Nerve neckband, which offers great endurance and balanced sound. I'll leave the links to both these products right here and here do check them out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye